Doctor, we're here at Bremen, a suburb called New York. This is where a young lady, by the time she is around 21 years old, uh, she got drowned here. What we have been told is that um, her sandals got stuck uh, while it was raining, and in, in her attempt to uh, retrieve the sandals, she was washed away by the floodwaters. We're here to speak to the eyewitnesses and some family members. Na abaya na bejina insu na no han musi. Ena musi ana na hesa kwa iwo be iwo be to insu no kwa hifa. No washi ukut washi ni papa ba kunu ujiye no deto esro han musi. Eti mi na meti ani se wo no obene nim meti ani se wonsa na chi na mi kunu swa no wati ano se wo mene chi na wonti mi nyade entwe nsu nti won won sign. Yet, Tiano 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 won't fear if you have for so soon. No more so, Tiano, so one sign. Yet, Tiani be a one's feet, and so soon I know not and so I know a day, pa. So, what two in a sin, so no monano. Enna, a chin will do a better name of Tiamuna, Yan Tinning can be him. The son of pay a general me feel up a year, your co police station, and Jesse. No more quiet pop or son of Sano Pania Betro. Nano Pomucho, it be quiet in Fini. If you run more quiet in Fini, we took call police station. Mu and Mocope, come for penny. Or my bayer, my maybe be our Messia de Henimu. Then you may be no, near the Assetaman. The Papa Nana may shock at a chino. So about drum me, when you be banning mamma. What guns were you, Roman Yaka, and mamma? Now may go from a banner club here. As a result of Wednesday evening's rains, many parts of the Ashanta region got flooded. And there are homes that have been affected to the extent that a lot of people have been displaced. We're here within Asawase to find out how people have been affected by this. We've been, we've been affected in many years since we've been in this community. Whenever it rains, we, we incur a lot of, a lot of uh, damages or offense wall. Every year when we came to rainy season, we incur a lot of debt. So for how long have you been here? I've been born in this community. I'm 52 years or so. I'm born in this community. So is it that it's a flat prone area and you're not taking measures or you're not putting the adequate measures in place or what exactly is the cause of this issue? Though it's a flat prone area, but ours, we are about 200 meters from the stream. But because of the bridge, the bridge is drawn down to the sand that the water cannot flow. But water passes top. So for our problem, we seek for support so that the bridge might be raised up. If the bridge is more up, I think the water will flow freely. We couldn't even sleep. The water climbed up to the stairs. And everybody, even the <laughs> everybody was just crying around and people were just making noise around. You couldn't even say anything or something that could even do. The fishes climbed up to the stairs. And the fishes. Fishes. The frustrated residents who say they keep having similar experiences have threatened to embark on a demonstration to impress on authorities to address their concerns. The rains caused the new Kijitia market to get flooded once again. Subways of traders were destroyed, and some traders and their clans were left frustrated. At Anglonga Junction, some vehicles were submerged in flood waters while scores were stranded. The rains initially caused the Angloga Junction to the doom session of the main Kumasi Akra Highway to flood, which then spread to the other side of the road. Occupants and vehicles and passerby were left frustrated and were unable to cross due to fears of being drowned. This led to heavy vehicle traffic on the stretch. Some stranded commuters who spoke to Sit News called on relevant authorities to urgently address the perennial issue. Activities at the Anglogar Junction, Ghana Private Road Transport Union, GPRTU station, ground to a halt on Thursday morning as a result of the impact of the flats. The leadership of the GPRTU at Anglogar Junction in Kumasi has thus reiterated a call for government to urgently put measures in place to address flooding in the area. Kwabnachi is the vice chairman of the Angloga Junction chapter of GPRTU. We have reported to the, uh, how do you call it, the municipal, of Okro municipal, and they know all this thing. It has been happening so many years, as you are saying, but 
The whole problem is the drainage. We have a big drainage here. When it gets, uh, how do you call it, full, then the other waters come out. So it floods the area. So the whole problem is the drainage. The full of sand in the drainage. So I am appealing to the assembly to come and pick or remove the sand from the drainage. As for that, when they did that, they we didn't get such a high flood situation here anymore. For drivers and other residents within this area, they're saying this is not the first time such an incident is happening here. And that they want relevant authorities to find a way of addressing it once and for all. For City News, I'm Edward Opon Marvel, Anglogger Junction, Kumasi.